Okay, so then in part B, we're asked to integrate this, okay, with respect to x. And you're looking at this now, and you're thinking, how on earth are we going to get these into single sort of x terms so that we can integrate them? Well, quite simply, okay, what you need to appreciate here is that um, we can split the top the numerator, okay, up and divide each term by root x. Because at the moment, you've got 1 minus 3x, divide the whole thing divided by root x. Well, we split it up, and instead of thinking the whole thing divided by root x, divide each term separately by root x, okay? Like this here. Okay, so split it up like that. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Because dividing the whole thing by root x is the same as dividing each separate term by root x. Now, um, what you can do next then is, of course, write um, x, root x, in terms of what it is, which is a power course x to the power half that's what root x is yeah um, and then we've got your root x on the bottom as well which is x to the power half so before we integrate remember now we need to get the x's on the top so in this case here x to the power half is on the bottom so if we take it up it become x to the power minus one half okay so now I can integrate that right here we've got to do a little bit more work now because we've got an x on the top and we have an x on the bottom. Because we're dividing, if you think about it, we can use rules of indices. So the power here is, is 1, isn't it? That power there. So when you're dividing, you take away the powers. So the top power take away that power. So 1 take away half is just a half, isn't it? So we end up having 3x to the power half there with respect to x, okay, so I just use rules of indices there, dividing, so take away the powers. Okay, so then we can just integrate. So remember, when you integrate, you add one. So if I add one to minus a half, it becomes a plus half. And of course, divide by that new power. And here then, um, add one to a half becomes three over two. Divide then by that new power, three over two. Don't forget then your constant of integration. So what I can do then is fraction the bottom, so take the bottom number up, so it becomes 2x to the power half um, over 1, if you like. And then same here, take the 2 up, so you get 6 then, because you're taking the 2 up, you times it by the 3, you get 6. x to the power 3 over 2 over 3, plus then the constant. And then just to finish off then, well, you've got 2 there. Now x to the power half, remember, is root x, so you could write it like that. 6 over 3 is 2, x to the power 3 over 2 plus c.